These are the plaintiffs, Kathleen Goya Jedney and Zachary Jedney. Kathleen says they hired the defendant to undercoat her son's truck as a Christmas present. They paid the defendant in cash. He never did any work to the truck, and his promises of returning their money mean nothing. That's right. He keeps saying the check is in the mail. It never is, and they're suing this crook for the $850 they're owed. This is the defendant, Paul DiPietro. He says the plaintiffs are impatient people who don't understand a job like theirs could take a few days at least to be completed. Kathleen flipped out on him when she showed up one day and the truck hadn't been started. He never gave her a time frame. She can't have her money back because he already purchased the materials and she needs to just chill out. He's accused of not getting things started. All parties, please, as you're ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant was hired to undercoat their son's truck, but he never did the All job. Right. Now, supposedly, now he sent them yeah, a refund, but they, they never right. received a penny. The defendant says uh, they took the truck back before he even had a chance to start it so tough. It's the case of the checks in the mail. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Hi. Hi. So, um, the gentleman next to you is? My son. All right. And so for Christmas, what'd you get him? I was attempting to get him undercoating, a protective undercoating um, to protect under his truck from what rusting. What kind of truck do you have? He has a Ford F-350. Do you have a tongue? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of truck do you have? An F-350. Okay. And how did you guys conclude that that's what it needed? Like, what made you feel like it needed that? Well, I was just going to buy a new truck, but then I figured I'd get the undercoating to save some money for a little bit. Okay, because that does what? It makes the undercoating makes it last longer? Yes. Okay. All right. So how did you find the defendant? I found him on Facebook Marketplace. He had a ton of ads out. And... Okay. Did he have any reviews? Yeah, he had some reviews. I don't even trust those reviews anyway. Well... I mean, I know what I would do. If I had a business, I'd have like a hundred of my favorite friends <laughs> write great things. But when I see five reviews, I'm like, oh, they don't even have friends. Yeah. But anyway, so you, who takes the truck in? Zach took the truck in. And so tell me about what happens. What day do you take the truck in? I took the truck in December 12th, which was a Thursday. And what did you say and what did he say? I dropped it off. We went in. He was going to write me a receipt, but he didn't have any receipt books, so he wrote it on a piece of paper because he said he had a ton of other trucks he was doing at a different shop. Okay, go on. And I paid him in full because I was leaving for Maine for the weekend to pick up a new snowmobile. And okay, you never pay anybody in full. Ever, 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 never, ever pay somebody more than they're asking for. Why? Because now you have to sue for the whole thing. You're out the whole thing. You're out double what you needed to be out because I'm sure he only asked for a deposit or didn't ask for anything. What did he ask for? A uh, deposit. Yeah. He's... How much did he ask for? I believe it was half the work or pay. Yeah. That's usually what people ask for, yeah. maybe even less. So it's Thursday, December 12th, and then what happened? Friday, he was supposed to do the work. Marcy, it had to be, a, I think, a day to drying, get prepped. Or... Wait, who told you he was going to do the work Friday? The defendant. He told you, I'll take care of this tomorrow. Yeah, and it was, we can pick it up Saturday. Okay. Now, is pick up Saturday anywhere on the receipt? No. Okay. That's a, another piece of advice I want to give you. When time is of the essence, make sure you write it on, you know, the, the contract between you guys. Go ahead. And then Saturday, Cam, he said he couldn't do the work. It would have to stay another day. So Sunday, we got, I got back Saturday night. So Sunday, we went after lunch, and he texted me saying the work wasn't done yet. Okay. And he wanted the truck for a couple more days. but. And you said? No. Okay. When did you pick it up? Sunday, probably 2 o'clock. Okay. Now, let me hear from you. Okay, good morning, Your Honor. Um, first of all, the uh, undercoating process is not going to your local shop and just having it sprayed with uh, something you buy from Advanced Auto or whatever they buy it from. Uh, our process is a two to three day process, maybe four days. That's being uh, quick. I mean, we have to uh, scrape the truck. We sandblast the truck. We then have to wa power wash it off. We then prime it. Priming has to uh, fully cure. Then well, we, how long does it take to fully cure? Um, it takes four to six hours for the primer. Okay. But the undercoating could take absolutely like up to eight to twelve hours because um, 
It depends actually on the weather, believe it or not. Um, if it's like raining outside or if there's any kind of moisture in the air. It takes longer to dry. Yeah, and, and we actually put two coats of undercoating on. So um, for it to fully cure, I can't put undercoating over wet undercoating. So what happens is it fully dries and okay, gets he like- He testified that you told him it'd be ready for pickup Saturday. Yeah, that, it's absolutely not true. I, I would, I've never, I, what I tell people is that it could take three to four days, but it could take even longer. Again, if it's dry and it's nice out- Why would it take longer? Because if it's raining out- Yeah, but even if it's raining out, it wouldn't take that much longer. It would take 12 hours. Yeah, so that's 12 hours longer. That's another that's day, not... right. Um, now. In this case was, I think, if I can remember back, that, that we were overbooked that week. Um, I believe he brought it in, like you said, on a Thursday. Um, I've never met the mother, um, but the, I've been very cordial with the mother. And That's nice, but what I have to determine is, did you or didn't you tell him that it'd be done in two days? I, I, wouldn't, I don't tell any of my customers it's to be done in two days, because that's impossible. It's Even on a good time, it's three days. It's just because- like, Well, then what did you tell him it would take? Because what's good for the goose is good for the gander. The, the receipt doesn't say when he could pick it up. Correct. So why don't you put in the receipt? Well, he, it could well, take up to a week. Uh, I've never done that. What I would tell the customers is, uh, call me back in a couple of days. I'll give you an update on the vehicle. I believe they came down three days later and said, that's it. We want, we want our truck. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiffs say that the defendant never did the undercoating on their son's truck, nor did he return their deposit. But the defendant says it takes three to four days minimum to do the job if weather cooperates and he had no other work going on, but the plaintiffs were impatient and demanded the truck back. Let's go back into the courtroom. And what did you say to them? Um, I said to them, I need more time. Um, sometimes we get backed up, sometimes the weather, and then it's, it's just different variables. Yeah, well, take... what was the, the delay though in this one? I, we were booked up and I believe it rained on Saturday. And, no. and your lift broke, didn't it? No. No? Where did you yeah. get that, her, that his lift yeah. broke? He posted on Facebook. He was did, looking Can for, I see it? He was looking for somebody to fix his lift because his lift broke, and that was posted on Friday, December 13th. Does that sound familiar? I mean, it could have been, Your Honor. I mean, it could have. I, right, I, so in other words, right. it's not that, that the process takes longer, it's that no, you it were unable to do what, you no, know. It does what, take longer, Your Honor. Well, I mean, if it you takes have to let... much longer if you don't have a lift. Correct. And the lift was fixed when? The lift that you don't remember broke was fixed no, when? No, I'm sure it could have been broke, Your Honor, but it was literally fixed within hours. I mean, my, I have a company that I bought the lift from that literally comes in, is in the same town that would come right over. Okay, in your answer to the complaint, one of the things you say is you had already bought stuff to do Correct. this. Tell Correct. me about that. Okay, so. There's two different undercoatings you can get. Okay, so there's like a, a, an undercoating that will come off in a year or two, and then there's a lifetime warranty undercoating. And so it's very expensive, so it's something that at that time we did not carry on hand. If somebody Okay, is, I'm yeah. just gonna stop you. I'm sure. gonna read from your answers. Sure. Zach paid me 850, and I don't remember if it was in cash or with a check, right. but I felt like co-plaintiff Kathleen was rushing me. So did you talk to her on, on the phone? What, no. You had said you never I, I, met her. Right, I didn't meet her. I, I, I'm not sure that, uh, maybe he was rushing me. I felt like co-plaintiff Kathleen was rushing me, so I went to a local store to buy the supplies I needed, which ended up being more expensive. I would have gone to my distributor, which would have been cheaper, but co-plaintiff Kathleen was already rushing me and it would have taken even longer. Okay, what's that about? Because, Your Honor, if I order directly from my distributor, um, I usually can get it you know, within an hour, not an hour, a day to two days. So what they were calling me, telling me they needed it by Saturday, needed it by Saturday. I believe they dropped oh, it so off. they did tell you that they needed it by Saturday. Uh, he told me he needed it by yeah, Saturday, so correct. so he told you he needed it by Saturday. Correct, and I, I couldn't. And you took the job knowing that he needed it by Saturday. No, no, that's not when I took the Can job. Can you show me the proof that you bought those supplies? Do you have any of it? You know what, after watching the show numerous amount of times, I knew you were gonna ask me that. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah. And? <laughs> and? I know, I know, um, December no. 12th. I had to go to a, a local store, which... And you don't have the receipt? Of course not. I knew All right, so that. now, blah, 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 the lift issues were not taken care of. What day, I wanna see it in your phone. Show me in your phone so I have a context and know the dates because your screenshot doesn't have the date. Okay, on Sunday at 122, Zach, your truck is outside the shop. 
Unfortunately, the lift issues were not taken care of. Instead of rushing the job and not doing it right, I told them to hold off. I would rather do the job right than to do a hack job. Without the lift working properly, it just wouldn't be as good a job. They did try to bring it to a few other garages, but they were full. So we can do one of two things. We can reschedule for next weekend on, or any day that works for you. Lift company coming tomorrow to fix lift. So really, any day after tomorrow, or we can cut you a refund check and send it out to you. I hope we can still do your truck for you. I apologize, but like I said, the truck would not come out as nice without the lift. Your truck is too nice to take a chance on. Hope you understand. Thanks, Zach. If you reschedule, I will give you back $100 due to the inconvenience. Okay, that's a lovely text. Nice. And it, I would probably <coughs> leave the business with you right. based on that text. Be but they choose not to. And then he says, okay, can you send me a check for the refund? So you keep saying over and over again that you're gonna refund, so I what do, happened? I do, Your Honor, here's what happened. Like so I said, that's only a really nice text if it's uh, honest. You know, if you weren't yeah. planning on refunding, then yeah, it's not. Yeah, well, I was planning on refunding them, just not the whole amount. Um, well, that's but, not what your text uh, said, but I, why I you didn't understand. refund them a penny, right? I understand, right, right, right. I why? agree with you. Because I, I bought the products um, specifically for his truck. If right. we're all being honest here in court, you know, she, are we? She, are we all being honest? I am, I'm gonna because be right, now. right. Oh, I will be right now. Now you're going to be honest. Right okay, now good. I will be. Okay. Yes, she had sent me a uh, a text about something about being, you know, I won't trash your business or something, and then uh, I don't know, not to get into detail, but I do work for law enforcement for the state of Mass, and. Uh, I got to be honest, it didn't sit well with me, Your Honor. We're a respectable business. But according to you, he sent you a text after that. Do you have that? I do. And what do they say? They um, don't say, this didn't sit well with me. How dare you impugn my no, character? They say, no, oh, but, yeah, yeah, I'm sending a check. Actually, one of the- One of them has a picture of cash. Right. So then it starts right. to look like it's not that you're standing on print. Where did you think this was going to go? I knew it. It starts to look not like you're standing on principle because she bullied you. Do you work for law enforcement? I did. Yeah, I you shouldn't be telling people that. <laughs> and, but, cause, but what it starts to look like is that you just don't have the cash flow. That's what it starts to look like. Well, that's so, yeah, I know. So what's gonna happen now is that you're going to refund to them their $850 plus their court costs. That is my judgment. Thank you, Your Honor. So after a lengthy wait, filing a lawsuit, the plaintiffs are gonna get their $850 back. Why didn't you send it to them? Um, I, I guess I, with the text messages and stuff like that, I, I, I probably should have sent it to them, but uh, you know, I'll be happy to pay them. And not only will I pay them, I'll be happy to still do his truck and I will do it for absolutely free. And that's really what I extended the offer to his mother. And uh, we will not only be happy to send him a check, which he'll take care of. You but, have to now, there's a right, judgment against absolutely. you. But we'll also do his truck for free whenever he has time. Well, we'll find out if, absolutely. if, if they're willing to do that. But, sure. but the question is, why didn't you send a check? You wouldn't be here in court if you correct, did. Correct, correct. It should have been done. Um, I mean, it was it a wasn't foul done. up on your part, Absolutely, right? correct. It okay. was done. Okay, All right, thank you very thank much. You. All right, well. The plaintiffs are on their way out of court. What do you think about what he just said? He has not been able to tell the truth from day one. Um, I was prepared to give other names and from Manchester Police Department names well, of people that he did the same thing to as well. well yeah, he's just offered to do your trick for free. Yeah, I'm not going to bring it back. You're not? <laughs> no. Don't trust him? No. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. you finally won your court Thank case you. and got your money. Harvey? You know, I got to tell you, Doug, it is so important. We've talked about this before to keep accurate, complete paperwork. If you're a business person, it would have helped this defendant a lot if it said in the paperwork how much time it would take to do the job. 